Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris and today I'm going to be using another sample I forgot about my sample shaves, I don't know I got a bit excited yesterday with the one blade I did want to use a soap that I had used before and trusted so that's mainly the reason but I'm happy with the one blade now I'm happy that after that shave yesterday I didn't actually end up with real, any real irritation from it it felt like I was going to be really irritated all day and it wasn't as soon as I'd had the shave, put the splash on, it was fine got a few little red spots, that's my usual stuff nothing out of the ordinary at all Soap Commander Wisdom. This was sent to me by Rob Larrimore. That's part of a trade that we did. And he sent a few samples and I sent him samples as well. And this one smells, it comes in a little chunk like that, which is actually a fair bit of soap. I've broken a good corner of it. I can't put my finger on it. I'm just going with the colour of it and the colour of the label, possibly a lavender scented soap. Hopefully it'll come out a little bit more once I add some water to it. So with the brush I'm going to use. It's the Red Dirt Shaving Society, the Leo Frio, and this is a two band finest brush. And it's got, I'm just going to cut an extra bit of a squeeze there. The brushes, the knots that, that Leo uses are from Gloria Cheng. Uh, you probably have noticed her on Facebook quite a bit. She's posting pr pretty much every bloody page that's on there. Becomes a bit of a pain in the ass, if I'm honest, because she's on there all the time. And it's a pretty good knot. It's not as good as some of the other knots that I've used. I've got rid of the funk now, so it smells nice as well. And here we go, I've got my soap squished into my Sapona Ficio Varacino Shaving Grail Ball. As you can see, there's loads of it. I will be doing a head shave as well today. I'm not sure if I'll do it directly after this, because I am hungry. Uh, my wife has got all the vegetables on, and I'm the one that cooks the meat. So I've got to make sure that the wife's well fed and watered. Can't be sitting in here having a head shave with an irritated wife. That would be detrimental to my health. Yeah, so the scent on the soap on the sample itself is very light. The scent out of the bowl is very light. Probably off the soap itself is around about a two out of ten. And it ain't getting much stronger if I'm honest. So very lightly scented soap, which gives me hope that it won't irritate my skin. Soap Commander hasn't as yet. I've used three samples before. This is a new one, one that I haven't tried before. And I've obviously got Soap Commander Vision as well in the big tub, which is a gorgeous soap. I'll probably break it out again soon before it gets too cold over here to start using sort of minty and mentally soaps if there is such a thing now I'm nowhere near ready yet but you can see where this is going good dip of water great little brush this for bowl lathering I do find that I thought it would be dreadful because it's so short but it's not it's actually a very good bowl lathering brush Now, un unlike Chris at iLather.com, Chris of Bailey, I like to whip my lather up. If I'm using a bowl, whip the whole lather in the bowl. I don't like to load the brush from the bowl and then do it on my face. I think if you're going to do a bowl lather, do a bowl lather. I don't, don't use it to, to load your brush. What's the point? Just load from your tub. I know it's got some people have problems with loading from a tub because of mould and germs and everything else. I'm not in a problem. Not a problem at all. And I've got over 60 soaps, I think. I've used them all at least once or twice or three times. So I've never had an issue with any mould or any, any problems at all whatsoever. As you can see, it's starting to really whip up lovely now. But the scent's still really, really light. Just add a bit more water. Probably a bit more again because there's so much soap in this bottle. I might actually have to do a bit of a face lather with it because. I'll just keep whipping up and whipping up to the point that it's overflowing. So we'll go with it like that. There's still loads in the bowl, as you can see. And let's wet the face. Right, and straight into the so brush it on first. Yeah, I've got to say, I can't, I can't honestly pick the scent on what this is. It's, an, it's so light. It's almost unscented. There is definitely some sort of scent in it.
I mean, there's one thing for sure with this brush. It's got incredible scrub without having any scritch. So for that, I've got to give it a big, big thumbs up. It is awesome for for face lathering and exfoliating. And it doesn't irritate your skin when you do it. And there we go. That's it. I'm not going to mess about with it anymore. That is a beautiful lather. The brush is caked full. My bowl's full. Now, back to the one blade. Beautiful razor. It's so well built. I didn't really talk about it much yesterday, but it really is. If you've never held one or seen one before in person, it's a work of art. It's a beautiful looking razor. Lots of weight in it. It's got good heft. And it's a good size. It's not, it's not long handled. I, I had a fear that it was going to be really long, but it's not. It's just beautiful. It's quite a stiff spring in it. I've got a brand new blade in this because the one I had in yesterday actually dropped and it hit my toilet pan and it actually dented the blade, so I had to chuck it. So just be careful with your blades. That was my fault. So here we go. It's, it's very smooth. sensitive there, I wonder if that's a bit that uh, irritated yesterday. The blade itself Brutally honest, I'm surprised that they say only use it once. I know at the end of the day it comes down to making money as well. They want you to buy blades. But it's so thick, it's like four times as thick as a feather blade. Super thick. Very smooth. I've only got one day's growth. I've actually got less than one day's growth. So this is a bit of a trip test for the razor itself. I've got a couple of little weepers here and I've definitely got a little bit of irritation just there, just next to that spot there, which I think it was an ingrown here, but I think I pulled it out. So I've got a little bit there, but it's a new razor, new technique. I don't expect to get it perfect. It's not like using a DE where it's sort of look at that. and also. Before I forget, I've just remembered how terrible of me. I don't know whether you, any of you guys that aren't on Facebook won't know, but Mickey Lee Soap Works. So I think it's Samantha Lee McDaniels. I think it's McDaniels. Maybe Daniels. Her husband received an email or a message yesterday, basically threatening her life, threatening her kids' lives. It was just horrible. How people. Can actually think like that, I have got no idea. But we finally tracked down that this was actually from a other soap maker based in Sri Lanka. And as such, a few of the guys got on there and gave them some lovely reviews. And his page on Facebook is shut down. He had over 
get over 1300 likes so it's obviously a, a reasonably well known business for a local sort of maybe a local artisan he's had to shut his page then because he was getting that much crap from it just a horrible horrible person i can't believe someone would do that so this shave is also in thanks to those guys from mickey lee soapworks for putting out great soaps i mean I, i've used this soap before it was a little it was a sample so i never really trust samples it's a little bit lacking in slickness but beautiful scent i, I do sort of remember it now Good when you pull a, <laughs> a badger hair out your nose. <laughs> that wasn't a nostril hair, just so you know. But it's definitely a, a whole different experience using this razor. I don't think it's going to do a great job. I'm going to do a head shave with it. I don't think it's going to do a great job, but it might surprise me. Residual slickness on this is great. After the first pass, it wasn't super good, but it's really thickened up now. The residual slickness that is. So as you can see, the brush has done its usual sort of eating of the lather. Right, pass number three. Now I'm feeling that irritation again. Not from the soap, I don't think. Could be the soap. I'm a bit confused with soaps at the moment, but I think it's the blade because I've never really used a razor like this before, so it's a whole new experience. I am trying to learn to use the to use the actual pivot, but it's difficult. Trying to go back to something that you use for so many years, a pivot. To not using one now. Sort of feels like you're doing something wrong with it. Once again, feels like I've got razor burn. But we shall see.
Right, so I'm going to pour a bit of the Humphreys Lilac, which is the lavender version. It does have a nice smell this, but like I say, with, with Humphreys I can still smell the witch hazel, which is a good thing. And this one burns way more than Tigger's. So, I've got a fair bit of burn there. Not an uncomfortable burn, just a nice warm burn that you want, you want it to sort of feel like that. If you don't feel that brilliant, you've obviously had an impeccable shave, which I do get from my Murgress and my Blunderbar. But that again, was a great shave, it was really smooth, just learning the technique with it. I've got a few little weepers, which a lot of people don't get with a one blade, I'm obviously getting it. But I could be pushing too hard, or maybe not just using the technique right. But you've got to practice with them and get used to these sort of new things. But all in all, good shave. So, the soap, or Soap Commander Wisdom. I obviously don't have the tub, but the tub will probably be on the, the main photograph of the video. And yet it's a really light scented soap, couldn't tell you what it is. Really honestly don't know, it's so lightly scented that I couldn't actually pick what the scent is. The brush was the custom Leo Frio Red Dirt Shaving Society. He's just pumped out a few more of these brushes for the guys. Uh, Ken Lee's getting one. I'm not sure the other guys. I was just lucky to get this sent to me from Toy Bay Chapel on Facebook. So I was just very, very lucky. As I have been with a lot of stuff in this hobby. As you can see, a little two band. It's not. What I have noticed, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not even. It's a really sort of doesn't look perfect like you get from a theatre or anything like that. It's quite a, all over the place sort of cut. No, it's not cut over the right lines. A little bit messy looking. The razor was the one blade. Brand new blade in there. I will be using this a second time. Hopefully, I won't drop it this time. It's a lovely built razor, really nice. It is smooth and comfortable. But I have had yesterday and today it feels like it's giving me razor burn. However, after I've finished, I've done my post shave, put my splash on, within sort of 10 15 minutes, there's no burn and I've got no irritation for the rest of the day. It's really surprising. I was expecting it to really hurt yesterday and it didn't. So let's uh, move on and how it dried up. Yeah, it was pretty much dry now. I can move on. I'm just going on with exactly what I used yesterday because it worked, worked really well. Maybe a two phase and it is the dog's bollocks, the mutt's nuts, the dog's dangly. Shook it up and good splash. That to me is like I've had the worst shave ever. <laughs> that burn is so intense. I can feel I haven't, I've had a really close shave. It doesn't look too bad. I can see a few red spots on the camera and in the mirror. But all in all, yeah, it doesn't look too bad, it feels good. Got a little bit of hair just on there. And yeah, I will reiterate, it's a beautifully built razor, it looks great, the design's awesome, it loads of blade nicely, it's just a lovely razor, well designed, but everything's great about it, the packaging, the stand, everything, it's not worth 400 bucks. I didn't pay 400 bucks, it's not worth that kind of money in my opinion, I would much rather spend 400 bucks on a Wolfman, I really would, it's just not, great razor, just not worth that money, so you guys out there that are interested in it, if you can afford it, go for it. If you're struggling, leave it alone, don't worry about it. It's not worth it for 400 bucks, it really isn't, in my opinion. No matter how good it shaves, it shaves pretty good. To me at the moment, it doesn't shave as good as a DE. So that's just my personal preference. I probably will keep this because it is a, this is one of the Series 1 razors. I'll get some gem blades as well, see if they make a difference for me. But it's just a beautiful razor, it's actually a lovely, just as an ornament, if you never use it, it's a lovely thing you have in your den. And that's probably the reason why that one will never leave. Even though I've said that about several razors, that one probably will stay in the den. Yeah, so, got a little weeper there as well. 
But other than that, a nice shave, I enjoyed it. I am learning the technique with it, and we'll just see where this sort of takes us. And that is me done and dusted. So, you guys out there that stuck up for Mickey Lee's footworks and uh, my husband, I can't remember a husband's name, that's terrible. But yeah, horrible things were said. I'm glad all you guys stood up and were counted. I'm not expecting anyone to watch the video on there, but I will pop this on the on the support sort of thing that was set up on the shave market, I think it was, uh, from Jason Spiegelman. I think that's how I hope we've pronounced your name right, mate. And other than that, you guys, stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.